Thanks, Ben. Yeah, Good. So, hi. As you can see, we're doing the photo shooting for the new DTM car for 2012. And um, I'm just going to stop things for a minute so we can go and have a look at the car and show you some of the new things we have. As you can see, the biggest difference is that in 2012, we're going to be using the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe, the three-door car, as opposed to the four-door C-Class we're using this year. The car itself is lower than before. It's also wider, so the car looks a lot more racy uh, than it has done in the past, and that's the biggest difference, really. The tyres themselves are quite different, so the tyres are wider compared to last year. We also have bigger sidewalls on the, on the tyres as well. So that's a difference, should give us more mechanical grip and uh, should hopefully um, help the tyre wear during the races as well. As we go around the car, we can see we've got a very different rear wing on the car. This is uh, a single pane rear wing and this is one of the spec parts of the car. The car next year has a lot more uh, standard parts between the manufacturers and a lot more spec parts. The front splitter and the rear diffuser on the car are spec parts, so they're going to be the same for all manufacturers, which hopefully will make the DTM racing really exciting and really close uh, for all of the manufacturers and all the cars out there. As we go around the front of the car, uh, biggest difference, we've got these uh, bonnet vents here, which is the same on all cars, which is for the cooling uh, for the radiators. The wheel arches here are wider than we have had in the past to incorporate the new uh, bigger tyres on the car. And as we come around the car here, we have still the exhausts uh, coming out of the sides of the car. This spec rear wing and the rear diffuser at the back, which produces most of the downforce in the car. Now, there's only limited stuff we can show you inside because it's all a big secret, but there's a few things we can show you. Uh, so if we open the car, the first thing, the biggest thing for next year is, is this, is the carbon monocoque. This is um, a carbon, full carbon monocoque with a space frame top, which is the first time we've ever used a carbon monocoque in DTM. This is a standard part for all manufacturers and is one of the safest cars uh, out there at the moment. Um, the other big thing inside the car, as you can see, there's no gear stick. So we have paddle shift on the car, up and down the gears, as you do on an F1 car, which is the first time we've had this in DTM. Now I'm afraid that's all we can show you inside the car, so I think you'll have to wait and see for DTM 2012 to see the rest of the car.